It's your girl V and I'm back with another video. You guys, welcome back to this channel. If you've already been a part of this channel and if you have not been a part of this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload another video, honey, okay? It's, you know, the drill. <laughs> you guys, I'm, I've already tore into this bag a little bit because I had to try to like tear the address label off and all of that. It was a fail either way so the thing is I don't normally order from places like Sheen, Timu, uh, Wish, um, places like that I've always been like a little bit sketched out about it especially being a plus size girl so <laughs> woman lady so this is my first and we're gonna get into these now, Timu apparently is like really on the heels right now of Sheen. And, you know, people have been, I've been seeing it online back to back to back. And I've talked to a couple of friends. I've even posted some questions online and asked a couple of ladies like, hey, you know, have you tried this company? Have you tried that company? And so, so far I've been seeing a lot of uh, mixed reviews on this company which I did a little digging. And when I say a little digging, I just mean some Google searching or whatever, because I heard different things. I heard that it was all Chinese based and this, that, and other. But apparently the company is, partner, is partnered with another company, which is a Chinese company. And I think it was based in like Boston, Massachusetts. Do not quote me on that. Go check for yourselves. But anywho, this is my first purchase from them and I'm gonna open this up I got this little thing on the end of the purchase because it was I think it was like a one click thing so you know how they always show you something extra at the end of some of these sites and it is a head wrap like a head wrap piece Y'all, excuse me if my lighting is not the best or like, hmm, or like it's a mess in the background. So this is supposed to be for your hair. And being that I got braids, I wanted to try it out. Eh. Now, let's be clear. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. Before I get into my honest opinion or review about anything in here which i decided to get some bags um that as my first purchase i feel like when you go around and you start paying six seven dollars ten dollars and that was one of the things that used to make me a little bit sketchy like i'm feeling this and it's supposed to be like a satin a satin bonnet now I'm gonna definitely try to get some use out of this but to be perfectly honest it's any other bonnet that I've felt before it has been maybe like a a little bit thicker of a quality but that can't be a negative necessarily because if you're a person like me who sleeps hot I sleep hot and so this might actually be a go. It's stretchy. It might definitely fit around my big head. But yeah, it, it's, it's very thin material, supposedly satin. And I think I paid no more than like two bucks for it. So let's get into these bags. I'm pretty sure that these bags, y'all, are from like Asian Company or something like that. Anyway, they're dupes. They're dupes. And I feel like the thing is, I don't know what necessarily they're dupes for because I haven't seen these until now. Child can't even get it out of the thing. 
they pack this really down in here, y'all. Like, some of y'all, I see y'all get boxes, really, really big bags. And I ain't trying to bust my nail up. Uh, okay. Okay, so this is the first bag. And the reason why I said I know these are supposed to be like dupes for something in particular is because I've seen bags that look similar to it on Amazon. That's what I was trying to get to. That's what I was trying to say. So that's what I feel like. I feel like it's just, and I really, like, really want to like this one because online it looks really cute. And hopefully I'll show, hopefully I can show some pictures. I'm just going to throw my mess everywhere. Hopefully I'll show some pictures of what I believe is the dupe to this bag. And if y'all know, then let me know in the comments. But I'm going to show a picture to what I think is the dupe to this bag. Hmm. Okay. So, I really thought it was bigger. Let me show you guys. Can't really make out what that says on the side of it. But... I like the little tassel things here. This is kind of cute. Very thin, though. Like, super thin. Like I said, I've always been sketched out about buying stuff like this because, why? Because usually when you're paying your money, you're looking for um, quality or something like that. So, of course, when you look at something at $6, $10, $11, you're going to be like, hmm, obviously, that's not going to be the greatest. But I will admit, this is cute. I don't know how much longevity you're really going to get out of it, but it's super cute. Um, the handle is definitely thin. It's definitely thin, but it's not a deal breaker for me. I could see rocking this with a couple of cute things, like, like a couple of cute outfits. You know what I mean? Like, it's cute. Yeah, that's why I said. The reality of it is, is I feel like, I mean, you can't go on there really expecting, like, to come out with a certain quality. And this is not leather. Um, I believe this is called... They kept that in there, I guess, to keep the shape of the bag. I guess it's called poo leather. P-U leather. I'm sorry. It's so goofy, y'all. Poo leather. <laughs> All right. So the inside looks like it has some kind of like nylon or something like that. It's three sections, though. So definitely, you know, I feel like don't pack it down though, because if you pack this bag down, child, if you pack it, pack it down, I don't think you'll get the a little the longevity out of it. That's just my honest opinion. I don't think you'll get the long. But look, it has feet. You got some feet. I like a purse that has feet. Y'all, I, I can, I kind of dig this. Let's move this to the side. I kind of dig this one. Poo leather is like, um, poo leather is like, um, what did it say? I think it's like polyurethane coated or something. Don't quote me. Y'all go look that up, but it's basically, basically leather-like. <laughs> leather like but look how she sits up there she's cute i like the little tassels or whatever she's definitely cute she could probably be one of them bags like um my daughter gave me one of these like little bags a long time ago and i don't wear them like that but they definitely look cute on my dresser so let's get into the next bag that I like threw on the floor. Okay. 
So I'm expecting that the size of this one is exactly what it was supposed to be. And it is. It is. Oh, okay. Well, for this one, they put like a little bag over it. Ah. Oh. Now this one, as far as this is pool leather. This is definitely pool leather. This might not be. I'm gonna have to double check that. That might not be because this one feels a little more. Um, the leather feels more tight. It feels stronger, if that makes sense. This one comes with a shoulder strap. And I believe you call this one a phone bag. Four minutes to keep. Now the nylon is in there. This one feels sturdier. It feels stronger. Now I got this because I thought it would be cute to wear casually like if you're going to the park or whatever you know what i mean i'm trying to see i was trying to see if there was like a strap on here you know like if you have like a strap to hold on the side or something let's see let me see if i can give you all a better view now compared to the quality of the other one and this one trying to get it in focus I like this one I've also looked up this company online this is cute now the other bag that I have is like this one but this one y'all same thing feels like that nylon material on the inside this part feels really thin but I'm gonna tell you like I said, I think I paid $10 for this one and almost $12 for this one. Possibly because it's bigger. I don't know. This is, they are really cute. And so if you thought you was going Michael Kors with it, honey, Coach with it, Chanel with it for $10, Hmm. You can't beat the dupes. You can't. I think you can get. Let me stop rambling. Anyway, let me get the bag. This one's cute. I like the color of this one. That's what made me get a second one because I felt like these colors were. Fumbling everything. I like this color. Now, see, this is what I don't like, okay? What I don't like is the fact that, Timo, get it together with the shoving the bags inside. Because then it's like this. And I have to go. Don't come for me in the comments say I'm being too picky either, y'all. Because this thing ain't holding the shape of this part that's getting smashed all in this one also comes with the shoulder strap this is very thin very thin i like the color of this one though and the reason why i chose those colors is because i felt like they could go with most things Let's see what's in here. Oh, the little charm thing is in there. Isn't that cute? It's a key ring. That is super cute. Y'all, for 10 bucks? That's not bad. That's not bad. Let's see if she buckles, though. Like, I'm looking at the buttons or these little guys okay see look how bent this is this this is this irks me i'm not even gonna lie to you that irks me i'm having mixed feelings like 
Yeah, for one, hold up. I got two of the same bag. But one says fashion and bag. And the other one says fazadiri or however you pronounce it. Okay. So the little strap is cute. The color of the purse is cute. The little keychain thing is cute. It's ten dollars. Um, but I I don't like I don't like this. I don't like that. I feel like this one is more so something I would give my niece or like a little girl, um, the one that just says fashion and bag, cause I'm really not liking that. Um, is it gonna be my last time ordering, Timo? Hmm. I really don't know. It's hard to say. Maybe I should give some uh, a couple of other things a try. Like I said, this bag is, it's cute. I feel like I can get a couple of uses out of it. This thing is going to be gone before you know it. Real talk. That's going to be gone. But my honest opinion, my honest review. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I'm not happy, happy. Um, I'm not, and don't take that the wrong way for those of you who are like, Team Timo. Um, I'm not saying I'm not necessarily Team Timo. I'm saying I'm not happy about what I chose. Um, but you do get what you pay for. Let's keep that in mind. You get what you pay for. Now, you can't really complain that you bought a bag for five, six dollars or whatever, and it ain't you know, or it isn't Michael Kors material. It's not leather leather. It's not none of those things. Now, I have seen videos where a couple of people claim they got actual designer stuff off of there. Um, I haven't seen any. But I'm telling you. And I'm, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to include, like I said, an image somewhere in this video of what I think this bag is a dupe for. I'm going to go do some more looking. But these... This one was okay. I could see myself rocking that one. I could see myself maybe getting a couple of uses out of this one. I do not see them being long-term bags um, as expected. Um, I'm not really keen on how it was packaged because, not keen, but I'm not particularly thrilled because of the way the purse got bent all up could probably put something in the purse to shape it out but i'm really not trying to wear something that says fashion and bag what is that i'm not feeling that see when you probably talk with me i ain't, I ain't tripping i'm not tripping y'all that's that's i'm sorry i really genuinely wanted to get on here and be like oh my gosh these are so adorable. Like, I really wanted to do that. I really wanted to, like, really feel it. And is it going to be my last time? Um, I may try something else. Like, maybe there's something on there that costs just a little bit more. And I want to compare it to the quality of this. But, once again, not to sound like a parakeet, you get what you pay for. You do get what you pay for. I've never been the wish girl. I've never shopped with them. And I know they be having crazy stuff online. But I've never been that one because I'm like, $6 for that, that outfit? And I wear a, a this, that, and other size. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just not sure. Um, maybe y'all can send me some suggestions of things to try. And I will definitely do that. I'm sorry if, you know, this review of this turned into something else <laughs> for me. I will include the link to these bags 
just in case this is your this is your thing. Yo, I'm not even gonna front. Like I said, this one, I can I can see it. I can see that. I can see that. This not so much. Real talk. Alright, y'all. So let me move on a little bit for a second. Um, I have another product that I want you guys to go check out. And I'm going to include the link for that one in the description box as well. But please, before I move on, make sure y'all send me some suggestions of something to find. So far, like I said, I know my review probably was like, mm, nah, mm, mm, poo. But at the end of the day, <laughs> I could see this one being, you know, I'm going to the park, amusement park. I can do that. Um, I can show you something. Like, for example, I can tell the difference. Sorry, I can tell the difference between the quality in this MK bag versus this. So I'm not just, you know, you know, you know, blowing hot air to you or whatever. But I, that, that wasn't my expectation either. That wasn't my expectation. Y'all gotta give me something else from them to try. Because I really was ready to be like, Yes, I'm gonna keep shopping from now. I'm on, I'm I'm with it. I'm ready, y'all. Y'all are gonna like this one though. Y'all are because um it is called Address Oasis. Let me show this again. Address Oasis makes body care products like body butter, body oil and all of that and so i opened the box but i didn't really get into it get into it like i haven't used it yet because i wanted to show you guys um it says your skincare is a love letter to yourself this is us this is you safe seen and celebrated address oasis skincare all right so let's get into that Y'all, first of all, this bottle. Gosh, I wish my thing would focus if y'all can see it. She is, she's sexy, she's sexy. Okay, so what I got was the rose hip oil. And the rose hip oil, I plan on using this in the shower y'all those of you who use oils in the shower and stuff like that they make other kinds of these they got one that's for like relaxation so if you go online with them and you take the little short few question quiz or whatever they will match you to what set they feel like you know you might want so they have stuff for relaxation and all that. But it's this is super nice. And as soon as I seen it online, I was like, I got to get it. I got to get it. And I seen a couple of influencers using it. I even like the way it smells. Mm. I like it. Now, I will let you know after I use it, like, if there's any differences with the skin and all of that. But any of you guys who definitely use body oils and stuff like that in the shower, um, definitely go and give them a try. It is called Address Oasis. Oh, they also, when I made this order, because I only ordered this, they sent me a sample of their body butter to this, the same one. Like I said, they have sets. Y'all, I'm about to, I believe they have a scrub. My hand needed it just now, I was dry. I was dry. Ooh. Mmm. I like it. Look at that. She not dry no more. She not dry now. <laughs> Y'all, 
definitely go give them a try. I will include the link at the bottom. So as far as anything reviewed today, my top is this one by far. She smells good. I can't wait to actually give her a try. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. y'all. It's just so, it feels nice. This don't feel like one of those oils you would feel hot. Like I said, I'm a person who sleeps hot. And y'all, there have been times at night I won't even put lotion on if it's too heavy because I just don't like that heavy feeling. This doesn't do that. This does not do that. You see the difference, y'all. You see the difference? That's how your girl was ashy. At least I thought I wasn't ashy, but I was ashy. Anyway, <laughs> you guys, thank you for joining me today. If, like I said, you can think of anything else from Timu that I could possibly grab, um, just to recap, um, I do like the Faza Dairy a little bit. I will use that at a part. I do like the other handbag a little bit but i can only see a couple of uses out of it you get what you pay for like i said do i see myself going bananas um no no everything ain't for everybody you understand what i'm saying everything ain't for everybody and i'm one of them people like when you don't snatch me snatch me off the break then i gotta like go looking around and be like hmm maybe it's something else like maybe it's something else but anyway Thank you for joining me today. And like I said, if you like this video, um, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And if at any point of this video, you felt the need to hit the like button, thank you for that. I appreciate it. And if you haven't hit it yet, then make sure you hit it because it definitely helps the video. You guys, you will see me a little more and I will be coming back with mukbangs and try on hauls and shopping and all of those things so if you're into all of that then you are definitely in the right place and you can come back and hang with your girl bye babies bye